Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I'm talking about uh, drop shadow effect example in WPF. Uh, oops. Uh, now select the Windows applications uh, window for WPF. I want to create a shadow effects uh, of the shapes uh, or the controls. So first of all, uh, we will take a rectangle. Uh, the shadow effect we will do uh, by using the bitmap effects so uh, i want to actually i want to place the image behind the um, behind the objects okay uh, with some margins and paddings uh, so use the stroke that is black uh, and the stroke thickness is 2 that is stroke thickness define the width of the uh, object and the stroke define the color of the object that is here okay now border color sorry now rectangle dot bitmap effect that is uh, I want to create a effect of the bitmap using drop shadow bitmap effect now using the direction mm -hmm. by using the direction we can uh, given the gap between the actual image and the shadow image uh, that is the direction that is minus 55 and the color is black Just, mm, then the shadow color is a black so uh, shadow depth is 40 so uh, our actual object is 40 pixels in depth that is here uh, you can see in the diagram the softness is the shadow is uh, faded if we increase and mm, the softness so fill the rectangle by the image image press source image source I have uh, a single file of the image that is apple.png so fill it by the image brush that is fine now you can look like the uh, shadow behind the image you can see and image look like the 3d so all things uh, we will done by using the bitmap effects so drop shadow bitmap effects uh, having two property only that is direct direction and the depth and depth define the actually height of the drop shadow effects and the actual objects so that's fine the same thing we can uh, do with the uh, control if we can change uh, the drop shadow effect color that is green and then the color of the shadow is green uh, down it yeah it's too much simple but uh, your control looking like 3d and uh, beautiful okay you can do this the same thing with the login control in the next chapter I will sure uh, I will clear that how to make a login control with the shadow effects uh, but keep patience uh, in this tutorial I will cover only how to uh, design shadow effects with the controls only okay now change in the softness uh, you can see that uh, the if we increase we if we decreases the numbers then darkness is uh, appear in the shadow okay uh, but in the uh, increases increasing order then the shadow of the image is faded okay now do this with the button control okay first of all uh, apply with the same ellipse uh, now rectangle change with the ellipse the ellipse 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 and ellipse because all attributes are same so that is the ellipse yeah fine yeah that is the image direction is minus 50 and softness is 7 save it and refresh it yeah that's fine 
so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all video tutorials which is related to WPF and continue to this uh, video tutorials okay mm. also read my article which is uh, on dot programming dot um, blogspot dot com to clear how to do this with the control now thank you thank you very much okay